And I guess we mentioned a time or two, or in our case, 24. Maryland's 6th District is a highly competitive race. It could be a crucial bellwether for which party earns control of the House next year. Democrats, uh, of course, are trying to hold on to that seat because David Trone is vacating that to run for the Senate. My guest tonight, back on the show, April McLean Delaney, as we get ready for early voting to start tomorrow. Does it feel like it's the uh, it's the beginning of the end of a very long sprint here? Oh my gosh, it's been a marathon, <laughs> but I'm really excited. Early yeah. voting starts tomorrow, May 2nd. May 2nd through May 9th mm -hmm. is early voting, and May 14th is the election day. And it is, it's important. My big line was vote April in April, but now it's vote <laughs> April in May. So. You may you may vote for April. You can do that do that as well. I'm I'm here to provide all of that. Uh, as you look at where this where this race has gone, I mean, you you, you jumped into the race. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, bouncing back and forth throughout the district. It's a very very large district. Has anything changed about the way that you looked at this race from the time you filed, from talking to everybody, from from getting the pulse of the people out there? You know, I, I think people have started to really focus on the race. I think in the beginning, people are, you know, there were so many people in the race, mm -hmm. and, and what was every candidate about? And I think as the electorate became more engaged and really came to know the candidates, yeah. I've seen that they have become more focused on certain issues. You know, they're really focused on choice, mm -hmm. of course. They're um, much more, I hear it a, about, a lot about it, uh, a lot about um, driving investment, and I talk about bipartisan uh, infrastructure investment from the, the Biden administration and lifting it up. And I think that, you know, there is a lot of uh, focus on that in Mountain and Western Maryland because they really want good paying jobs. And then I really think that there is you know, a lot of um, concern about our democracy. And I hear a lot of people saying, you know, I'm really concerned about our democracy and how we engage, and this election is more important than probably any election that I can ever remember. Someone who was very vocal about the idea of democracy was Congressman Jamie Raskin. He did yes. endorse your campaign. Uh, he is somebody who has uh, really gained a large following within the Democratic Party. And, you know, he's come, he's come from the progressive flank of things, but we see him really, his endorsement carries a lot of weight. But you've also trumpeted a lot of endorsements from, from many other county leaders uh, in this very large district. Well, I think that I have gone far and wide. I've met people where they are in, you know, Allegheny, Garrett, and Washington, obviously at the top, but, you know, Frederick and, and Montgomery County. And I think I've gained the respect of really knowing the issues. But yes, I have um, Leader Pelosi, I, um, you know, Dutch, you know, Rupersberger, yeah. uh, Steny, and Raskin. But I will say about Raskin, he is a constitutional scholar, but he does lift up how important this election is and who is going to win and keep this seat blue. And I think that my, I'm authentic to and and my, you know, my Idaho background, but mm -hmm. also, you know, how pragmatic I am in messaging. I think that really carried the day in a lot of ways in terms of um, people realizing that I, um, I kind of match the the div diverse <laughs> microcosm of this district that yeah. we spoke about last time. You mentioned uh, in in your ad about uh, being a mom, being a mom of daughters, and and you, you mentioned the choice issue. Now, when you get to a race like this, and uh, the, the 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 waning days happen, and things are said, and and you know it's a very contentious primary, at least between you and and uh, Delegate Vogel for one. Uh, there was a mailer put out that said you were, you were too close to people who are uh, who promote anti-abortion and anti-LGBTQ causes, um, but but. You also talk about the choice issue out there. So, what can you do as a member of Congress to 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 ensure that? Well, first of all, I have to tell you, if you remember, my platform is common sense, common ground, and I believe in talking to people on both sides of the aisle. And you could be a very firm advocate. I'm a progressive Democrat in terms of choice. I have four daughters. It's a one, something I lift up, and is very very important to me. But all of the issues that we care about as Democrats, most of us are pretty much the same. Having said that, um, I do have a lot of friends who are Republicans. Just because I've lived in this town a long time, sure. I worked in nonprofit. I often said I was kid partisan while I was at Common Sense Media and tried <laughs> to get things through. Um, but you know, with respect to some of those people, you know, they're the friend, the, the parents of my children's friends. Yeah. And if you have your kids are playing on a soccer field or and the ice skating rink is with, with me, you know, are you not going to speak to the friends, uh, to the to the parents of your kids' friends? That's ridiculous. That's not common sense. And actually, the type of people who talk about that, they're not going to well represent this uh, purple district, but they're not even going to get elected. So I think it's really important that we realize that um, we are a democracy. We have, you know, this is a, a very close race, but, you know, 
actually in the dialogue is where you get things done. Um, so yeah, I have I push back against negative campaigning, and in fact, uh, Congressman Raskin came with um, you know a big delegation from throughout Frederick, um, state delegates, state senators, um, Jan Gardner, who is the former county executive, and we all said this is a unity rally. We as Democrats are not going to be in, in that negative, nasty kind of uh, you know uh, type of campaigning. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to lift up and say who we are as Democrats. Come to together and kind of lift up how we can chart a more inclusive, more prosperous and brighter future. And well, I really feel deeply about that. April McLean Delaney, great to see you again. Thanks oh, for coming thank in tonight. thank you. I really appreciate, appreciate it. And it. vote. Everyone should get out and vote. All right. Final Take five care. is back right for this.